So now you're an HCTV member, but you want to be able to take out equipment so that you can shoot your own stuff, right? Well, in order to do that, you probably want to know how to properly use a camera, attach it to a tripod, put a battery in, etc. So that's what this video tutorial will hopefully help you do. This is a Sony Digital High Definition Video Camera Recorder, model number HV-Z7U, or Z7U for short. Right off the bat, it's obvious that if most people are inexperienced with this sort of stuff, the camera may be quite intimidating. But for this tutorial, we won't go into some of the really complex stuff, rather, we'll stick to the basics. I'm going to briefly go over the camera and point out some areas of interest. The first thing you want to go for is the LCD screen, which is located on top of the camera. This opens up and gives you a better view of what you're shooting. It's recommended that you use this screen rather than the eyepiece. On the top we have the external shotgun mic and this is the default audio source for the camera. Its range is limited to what's directly in front of it. The audio is not great but it will do the job for up to about five feet away. The two plugs on the side are inputs for XLR cables. XLR is the standard audio cable used for microphones and other audio devices. Here you can plug in a handheld mic, a wireless mic receiver, or a clip-on mic. Now on the front of the camera you have your lens, and just behind the lens is the switch that actually opens the lens cap. Nine times out of ten, if you have a black screen on the camera, it's because your lens cap was closed, so always be sure to check that. I've done it a million times. Now before recording, one of the first things you will need is a battery. Here's the battery. It's a standard Sony lithium rechargeable battery. On the back of the camera, you'll see a large gap where the battery fits. So then you take your battery, arrow pointing down, put it in the back of the camera, and press down until you hear the click. Once you hear the click, the battery is securely in the camera, and you're ready to power it on. Once the battery is in, you can now power up the camera. On the left side of the camera, near the top, is a power switch. By pressing this green button down and sliding the switch over to camera, this powers it on. Now you're ready to insert a tape and begin recording. Now on the back of the camera, to the right of where you just inserted the battery, there's a little door that says open slash eject. So if you slide this button down and carefully pull the door open, another door will automatically open for you allowing you to insert a mini DV tape, like so. Place your tape inside, the tape side facing inward. Close the inner door first and be patient while it shuts. This is very important. If you just close the outside door altogether, it can cause the tape to improperly settle into the tray and get jammed. So now we go back to the top of the camera, we open up the LCD screen again, you can see an image on the screen, you're ready to record. Now you do have the ability to record in high definition or widescreen, but for this tutorial we're going to remain in standard 4x3 full screen. You can slide your hand into the handle on the right side of the camera for a more secure grip. Once your hand is in position, the record button is right where your thumb is. Pressing the record button will start the tape recording. Once you hit record, you'll be able to see in red letters REC and the counter clock moving, which then verifies that you are now recording onto the tape. While your hand is still in the strap, you can adjust your zoom if need be. Your middle and index fingers should be right on top of the zoom buttons. You can change from a wide shot or a close-up by simply pressing these zoom buttons. As you're zooming, you may find that you need to adjust your camera's focus. If the camera is set on autofocus, the camera will automatically adjust focus as you zoom. If the camera is set to manual, then you will need to manually turn the focus wheel at the front of the lens to adjust the focus. The best way to focus your camera is to first zoom all the way in on the subject that you are shooting. 
focus the camera, then fix up and frame your shot. Now your camera should be properly focused and you're ready to continue shooting. We'll now demonstrate how to properly attach your camera to a tripod. Now one very simple but important step is how to properly attach a camera to a tripod. One of the first things you want to do with the tripod is remove the hex plate, or camera plate as some call it, from the tripod. You do this by pressing this lever and pulling the hex plate off. Now it's important to keep in mind that not all camera tripods and hex plates are created equal. Some are square, and rectangular, some of the levers are a little bit different on the tripod head, but for the most part they all operate the same so you can figure out how to get the hex plate off. On the very bottom of the camera you have two screw holes where you will attach the hex plate to. On the top of the hex plate says the word lens with an arrow pointing up. That is the direction you want to point the hex plate toward the lens. So you take the hex plate, put it on one of the holes, it doesn't matter, and screw it into place. Make sure it's nice and tight. Once it's fastened securely to the camera, you're now ready to attach the camera to the tripod. Now that you have the hex plate on the camera, you have to attach it to the tripod. And the way you do that is you actually do a little bit of a reversal maneuver than the first time. So you want to push the lever out again, place the camera and the hex plate directly on the tripod. Once it's in, you then fasten the lever again to tighten it. You'll know if it's secure because if you try moving the camera and picking the camera up and moving it around, it won't come off the tripod. You now know that you are securely and properly fastened to the tripod. Now there's a lot of functions that the tripod has. I won't get into all of them now, but the basics are lowering and raising the height of the actual tripod and panning and tilting up and down, left and right. So, the first thing you want to do is if you want to raise your tripod, if you lift it up, there are knobs on the very bottom near the legs that open up. When you turn the knob and unscrew it, the leg releases and extends. You then want to obviously want to tighten it up again so that the leg will sit securely on the ground. You do that with all three legs. So once your tripod is up all the way, as high as it can go, you can now get a nice shot over people's heads if you're shooting a crowd, or to get a nice high shot from a balcony or something like that. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the arm of the tripod, which will help you to pan left, pan right, tilt up, and tilt down. Now this arm can also be adjusted to accommodate your own height and comfort as well. By turning this knob here, you can then lower or raise the arm based on your preference. Once it's in place, you simply tighten it again and you're ready to continue shooting. So that wraps up this video tutorial of the Z7U camera. I hope you've learned a lot. There's obviously a lot more to learn. We went over the very basic stuff, but that's what we here at HGTV staff are here for. So feel free to ask us any questions you might have about how to use a camera or a tripod if you need a refresher course and what you just learned. We are more than happy to help. So I hope you enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of the class.